Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the tsunami that could destroy the US East Coast. I don't know if this is actually based off possibilities of like things that are happening or things that could happen. Or if this is just a, genu a general just like um, a, a, a story of just what would happen. Not that it's going to happen or that it could happen, just what would happen if this was the case. I mean, I guess any region of the world that has oceans around it or waters yeah i guess oceans are not really waters because oceans are massive areas of water where i guess tsunamis have a higher chance of actually being formed are at risk right but um we're gonna check this out and see because i don't really know what to expect but i mean tsunamis no one wants to face one they're probably the scariest the single-handedly scariest things to see like what they can actually do to like coastal areas is just horrific as we've seen in reality in the past but we're gonna see um what it would do i guess if this happened and i guess if it is a possibility what sort of things maybe are being seen as possibilities to cause this to happen but we're gonna check this out and see and learn about this links are also in the description to my patreon where you can see reactions that i can't post to youtube but let's just check this out if a massive tsunami were to strike the atlantic coast Communities stretching from New England to New Jersey might face the brunt of the catastrophe. Consider iconic landmarks like the Old North Church in Boston or the historic Plymouth Rock. The unyielding force of a tsunami will engulf these landmarks of heritage in a deluge of water. The very essence of New England's cultural identity would be submerged beneath the waves. The looming tidal menace would also threaten the state of New Jersey where landmarks such as the Statue of Liberty and the Atlantic City Boardwalk epitomize the nation's spirit. A major tsunami could obliterate these icons, relegating them to mere memories. Dang. Some experts are now certain about the grim possibility of such a catastrophic scenario happening someday soon. While residents of the West Coast are well acquainted with the earthquake risks associated with the renowned San Andreas Fault, the conversation surrounding the East Coast's potential tsunami hazard has largely remained overlooked or dismissed. Typically, when we think of tsunamis, our minds immediately drift to the Pacific region. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely the region where the likelihood is proven with the actual facts of it like consistently happening in these areas. I guess because there's just such a vast amount of water, this is where it can happen. Obviously, the San Andreas fault. Line. I guess all of these are. Are these the fault lines here, or the tectonic plates, or whatever, where earthquakes are quite common? I feel like that might be the case, which obviously then leads to tsunamis. I don't know. If that's the only thing that leads to tsunamis. And I guess maybe like glaciers turning can lead to tsunamis. Maybe because obviously the glaciers are huge. When they turn in the water, they create huge waves. I don't know if they create huge waves to the point of like tsunamis, or maybe just in maybe if there's ships in a, in a somewhat close pro proximity then maybe they'll be at risk of being hit or whatever but yeah these are definitely the regions you think of it's immediately drift to the pacific region but it's essential to recognize that the east coast is not immune to such threats the push for increased awareness regarding the potential for disasters striking the east coast initially surfaced in april 2012 this happened after a series of 15 earthquakes occurred approximately 170 miles east of Boston. While not reaching the magnitude of the devastating earthquakes frequently experienced in Japan, the largest of these quakes measured 4.0 on the Richter scale, a significant event nonetheless. During the same year, several other tremors were recorded off the coasts of Newfoundland and Cape Cod along the Atlantic continental shelf. While the Atlantic Ocean experiences fewer tsunamis compared to the Pacific, attributed to fewer volcanic eruptions and tectonic shifts, significant instances of devastating tsunamis in the Atlantic are documented throughout history. In 1755, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck Lisbon. Structures crumbled under the immense force, and as the initial tremors ebbed, a harrowing aftermath unfolded. Fires ignited spreading relentlessly through the streets strewn with debris. Jesus. Amidst the chaos, a colossal tsunami surged from the depths of the Atlantic. The once vibrant streets of Lisbon were reduced to a haunting silence, 
where the remnants of centuries-old architecture life submerged beneath the unrelenting force of the tsunami. Historians estimate that around 40,000 people perished. This grim toll underscores the unpredictable wrath that the Atlantic Ocean can unleash upon communities. Then in 1929, the North Atlantic bore witness to another harrowing tale of destruction. So hundred years Off ago. the coast of Newfoundland, a seismic upheaval triggered a massive tsunami that surged towards the Grand Banks. The waves, propelled by a colossal undersea landslide, reached staggering heights, dwarfing everything in their path. By recounting these historical tragedies, the critical importance of awareness and preparedness along the vulnerable Atlantic coastlines is emphasized. Concerns among Why well, I assume a lot of the vulnerability comes from is the fact that they just those regions aren't built at all to withstand tsunamis. I guess with the west coast of the US and then places like Japan, maybe they now they are more prepared to deal with those kinds of things. I don't think there's any way you could fully deal with it to be honest. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, a tsunami is gonna cause damage no matter where. Just maybe on the east coast, maybe there's just there's no real fear of it. So it, on the off chance it did happen, it would cause a lot more damage than maybe it would do if it was on another part, another region that's more prepared. But I could be completely wrong. Again, at the end of the day, a tsunami is a tsunami. It's going to cause damage no matter what, right? So Scientists are rising due to recent seismic activity in the Atlantic. Scientists are now sounding the alarm that an earthquake-induced tsunami similar to the Newfoundland catastrophe could potentially target the northeast coast of the U.S. Furthermore, some experts have raised the remote possibility of an indirect tsunami striking along the Atlantic coast. The genesis of concern dates back to 1999, when geologists initiated studies indicating instability on the western flank of the Cumbre Vieja volcano in La Palma Canary Islands. Jeez. Research suggested that with each subsequent eruption, this instability would escalate potentially culminating in a cataclysmic event where a significant portion of the volcano could collapse into the ocean. According to estimates, this chunk could range from 150 to 500 cubic kilometers. In the worst case scenario, where the chunk measures 500 cubic kilometers, the impact upon entering the ocean would generate a towering water dome reaching 900 meters in height, surpassing the height of Dubai's Burj Khalifa. Following this, the dome would transform into a colossal wave measuring approximately 600 meters high, hurtling westward at speeds reaching up to 720 kilometers per hour. The resulting massive tsunamis would batter the western shores of the Canary Islands, while smaller waves ranging from 50 to 100 meters would impact the African west coast. Simultaneously, a formidable wave spanning 500 kilometers in width would traverse westward across the Atlantic towards America. Damn. While the scenario may evoke fear, it's imperative to approach it I with mean, a measure. This little look here is hitting everywhere, man. It's flipping, it's even reaching the UK. I mean, again, I don't know the actual possibilities of this. Like, this is probably worst case scenario, right? But. This is literally going everywhere. ...westward across the Atlantic towards America. While the scenario may evoke fear, it's imperative to approach it with a measured perspective. Mega tsunamis resulting from volcanic collapses like this appear to unfold over extensive geological time frames, with evidence indicating occurrences dozens of times in the Atlantic alone over the past million years. Thus, while the potential threat deserves attention and preparedness, it's essential to contextualize it within the broader framework of geological processes and historical occurrences. In June 2023, the Northeast faced the impact of a significant storm. Initially regarded as relatively minor by the National Weather Service, it was classified as a low-end storm. However, the aftermath presented an unusual phenomenon. More than 30 tidal gauges along the east coast registered six-foot waves, resembling a tsunami. Look Yet, these. investigations revealed it wasn't a typical tsunami event. It was more accurately described as a meteor tsunami. Unlike tsunamis triggered by earthquakes, this event was attributed to atmospheric conditions generated by the storm itself. 
Jeez. The northeast storm likely caused fluctuations in air pressure significant enough to generate tsunami-like waves. The exact mechanisms behind this occurrence remain unclear. Some experts theorize the storm's intensity played a role, while others speculate about potential shifts in the continental shelf east of New Jersey. Despite the striking resemblance to a tsunami, the water movement observed in Rhode Island didn't align with typical storm surge patterns, adding to the mystery surrounding the event. Despite the looming risk, it seems that several areas in New Jersey are still underprepared to face a tsunami. The evolution of tsunami monitoring systems from their inception in the 1920s to their current state is undoubtedly fascinating. Today, our monitoring capabilities have significantly advanced, allowing for real-time detection and warnings of impending tsunamis. Modern systems are typically triggered by seismic activity, which provides critical minutes for forecasting and issuing alerts to vulnerable regions. Thanks to the rapid speed of seismic waves, earthquakes can be detected almost instantaneously, offering ample time for forecasting and targeted warnings. Japan stands out as a prime example of a tsunami-ready nation, boasting a nationwide warning system that springs into action within minutes of an earthquake. The efficiency of this system was demonstrated during the 2011 earthquake and tsunami, where the warning was issued within just three minutes, underscoring the life-saving potential of preparation. However, it's crucial to recognize that effective tsunami warning systems extend beyond mere detection. Communication plays a paramount role. Ensuring that warnings reach and are understood by the public in a timely manner is essential for maximizing their effectiveness and ultimately saving lives. However, navigating the tsunami warning landscape isn't always seamless. In the blink of an eye, a tsunami can unleash its devastating force, leaving little time for warning. This film's mad, by the way. I mean, I guess everyone who's watching this is seeing this. I also quite find it crazy. I mean, Tom Holland's a little kid in this film. I mean, obviously, he's a famous actor now, but in this film, he's a little kid, and just thought that was quite interesting, the fact that he's actually played roles when he was really young. But this is based off the... It was at the 2000 and something or so. The Christmas... Was it the Christmas Day? Or the Christmas Eve? Or the Boxing Day tsunami? I think it was a Boxing Day tsunami. I can't remember where it was. Was it... I, I want to say Thailand, but I don't think it was Thailand. But yeah, this film is wild, and the fact that it's based off true events makes it even like that much more scary and just shocking. The 1993 Hokkaido tsunami stands as a chilling reminder, striking mere minutes after the initial quake. That's crazy, that quick after. Nevertheless, effective warning systems, particularly when given some distance from the epicenter, can still prove instrumental in saving lives. The progress of tsunami warnings is a testament to human resilience in the face of natural disasters, with each chapter etched into the annals of history. Despite the challenges and occasional setbacks, these systems represent our ongoing commitment to safeguarding coastal communities and mitigating the impact of tsunamis. From the devastating tsunamis that struck Hawaii in 1946 and 1960, propelling the state into proactive action, to Japan's rapid and decisive response to the 2011 disaster. Each chapter in the history of tsunami warnings serves as a valuable lesson in innovation and resilience. These events have spurred advancements in technology, communication, and preparedness, empowering communities to better anticipate, respond to, and mitigate the impacts of future tsunamis. By harnessing innovation and learning from past experiences, we continue to strengthen our ability to ride the waves of adversity and safeguard lives and livelihoods in the face of natural disaster. I didn't really talk about the US East Coast that much. It was just a brief little mention. I think this is a definitely an AI made video, right? <laughs> I can just sort of tell. Um, thank God when that volcano in La Palma erupted for months it did not cause that tsunami a lot feared but who knows oh so that actually was a genuine possibility um i'm just trying to see the comments if other people say that as well motherfuckers in the midwest <laughs> what the fuck 
Um, bye bye New York. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, there, there we go. It was just a look into tsunamis, really. Um, obviously, tsunamis are freaky as hell. I'm gonna be honest. Tornadoes and tsunamis are definitely up there. The two, like most insane looking weather events to me. I mean, there's so many other ones as well, but those two just stand out like a sore thumb in terms of how creepy they really are and how they can just happen like that. I guess earthquakes are up there as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. And until next time, like, subscribe and peace.